Another red day for AMC. It's down 11%, 12% currently down to the $34 area. Trades Trades is leading everyone to the unpromised land. The king of the apes is telling us that it's time to buy, buy, buy. But what is really going on here? Talking about it here in this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on guys Patrick here and today we're talking about AMC once again even though I know I probably shouldn't talk about it because all I get is hate and everyone gets mad upset because I talk about the truth here about AMC and the possibility that AMC is not going to change people's lives for the better but also it could be changing people's lives for the worst in terms of losing them lots and lots of money. Well that's what's happening right now. AMC today is down 12% down to the $34 area. This is the daily chart we're looking at right now. You can see basically since June 29th, AMC has gone lower and lower and lower and lower and basically filled this gap here at the $32 area. The low today on this candle right here, the low so far was 33.66. Now, what's going to be interesting is I'm going to say right now there's probably going to be a chance of a little bit of a bounce in this area just because we're kind of filling that gap. There's a lot of people out there that are watching YouTube videos of YouTubers talking about how this is going to be the place to buy. You know, let's buy the dip at the $32 area. So there will, I'm expecting some type of bounce in this area. And that would lead people to, number one, believe that this is time to be buying because you're basically creating this artificial support area for people to believe that $32 is a place to be buying AMC, a solid fundamental place to be buying it. And that's what's even funnier is I heard as well, my friend over here, this guy, trades trades. I don't even know what kind of drugs this guy's on, but number one, you can see, look at this guy's picture here. I don't know if you, if you know, but he looks very much like a troll there. And he's also like, what is he in his mom's basement or what? Like what? Literally, where is he filming this at? If he's supposedly this super successful trader investor here on YouTube's Trades Trades, basically promoting AMC every single day on his channel. That's all he really talks about is AMC at this point. He's the self-proclaimed king of the apes at this point. And it's basically funny because now every day that he posts a video, he has to basically try to make up reasons to why AMC is going down to talk about the real price of AMC, to talk about all the FUD, to talk about how all the banks and all the hedge funds are out to get us. They're trying to take us down, down, down. Welcome to the party, my friends. Welcome to Wall Street. Let's look at the actual people that are investing in AMC and what they're talking about and how they're talking about. Like this guy here, here goes that he says he's holding because Citadel steals from the world's economy and acts like it's an intelligent, con condescending alpha. But in reality, Citadel and friends are spineless thieves who hide in the dark. That's the problem, like I said in yesterday's video, is that people have now made this whole AMC trade about one thing, and that's about taking over Wall Street, getting back at Wall Street. And the joke really is on the apes at this point because, number one, AMC was able to sell more and more shares at a very high price. AMC basically dumped shares at a very exuberant price to their shareholders to the apes who thought that they could just buy, 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 that they wanted to buy. Like, look at these guys. Hedge funds should prepare for intraday margin calls. That insane amount of bears. And it, it's always now just about this madness of let's take over Wall Street. Let's beat Wall Street. That's really all it's coming down to now. It's no longer about the actual trade and the fundamentals here, or which is even funnier because I heard trades, trades talking about how at some point the fundamentals will catch up. And well, seeing that the fundamentals here on AMC, if you look on AMC, let's look back, like looking back to 2015, 2016, this was basically at the peak of the stock price here at the $34 area. So to say that the fundamentals will basically lead to a point where AMC and the price of the stock start to reflect the actual fundamentals, I don't think there's any way in the world that you can say that the fundamentals are going to start kicking in at this area because obviously the stock price ever since 2017 has gone from $34 down to a low of $2. So, you know, if we're really pricing this as a fundamental play, the price of the fundamental play would basically put the stock, I would say, like I said earlier in the video yesterday, like down at the $10 area or even less. So, I mean, at best, at best, we're talking $20 for fundamentals. And even then, I don't think the fundamentals will play in 
So we're really, I'm, I'm saying that fundamentally the company is broken, it's, it's flawed, and the only reason they're still alive, because remember last year in October of 2020, they talked about how they were going to run out of money, and then magically this whole meme stock play started, and now I'm not one to be a conspiracy theorist the same way that, you know, everyone else on the internet is a conspiracy theorist, fudded, and how there's so much misinformation out there, people like me being paying, I'm being paid by the hedge funds to take down AMC. You can look at the price of the stock. You can look back at 2017, 2016. You can see what the market actually priced this at back then. The market, I know people believe that the market is manipulated. The shorts are just always hammering stocks, trying to keep stocks down, not letting favorite stocks go to the moon. It's not, it has nothing to do with hedge funds and shorts and all that. At the end of the day, shorts are actually good for the market because number one, shorts, can go in to a stock and be like, hey, look, the numbers don't add up. Shorts are actually what fuel some of the big rallies that we've had in some of these stocks. So we need shorts. You know, having a short seller or saying that short sellers are bad, there shouldn't be existing, that we shouldn't have short sellers, is basically saying that, well, everybody should just buy and go long on a stock. Everyone should just buy the stock. And well, it's never gonna go higher. If everyone just believes that the price of AMC is going up, but no one's actually buying it. Well, at what point do we have more liquidity coming in and buying the actual stock, the stock? What what point does AMC continue to go higher when everyone already owns it? And you got to look at like the ape, the ape army. How much more money is the ape army going to get as the stock price is crashing down? For everybody who bought at the 50, 40, 50, $60 area, are they still loading the boat? Are they still buying and buying more shares and share and buying more shares? The thing really comes down to the question as well is at what point, like people keep talking about, oh my God, the shorts have to cover. Well, it would be very easy to cover a short position in this market that we're in right now, especially as it's crashing down. There's plenty of volume. There's plenty of, you know, it's plenty of, plenty of liquidity. You know, AMC does not have a small float. AMC does not have a, you know, 10 million shares float or even a 50 million share float comparing that to GME, GameStop. But if you compare, you know, AMC, to really the broader market with 500, 600 million shares in the float, there really is no idea of a shortage of shares. And you know, the, the actual short float percentage is not insane. It's only what, eight under 20%, 18%. Some people believe that it's insanely higher. They, you know, the conspiracy of it all, the FUD. But really guys, if you're gonna be investing in the stock market, number one, you cannot invest based truly on the idea that the market is out to get you, that the FUD, is out to get you that that the hedge funds are trying to take you down that's the worst possible way to invest in a company trying to invest in a company like amc basically on the idea that it's all being manipulated and it's all being controlled by hedge funds and the only reason the stock price is going down is because hedge funds are taking it down with them and that's just idiocracy at that point so a little a little bit of word of worrying to trades trades this guy I just don't get it. I don't get why anyone would get behind him and basically follow this idea that, you know, there's huge manipulation, that that there's a huge conspiracy happening right now, that the market, the stock market doesn't want anyone else to make money. They just want the AMC holders to lose everything. Come on. It's it's just not that, you know, it's not that insane. And I, I believe, obviously, that there's manipulation in the market, you know, and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, to believe that there's these forces at work to try to destroy all of AMC shareholders, that they don't want the price of the stock to ever go higher. It has nothing to do with they or he or she. It comes down to, at the end of the day, the market is going to price the stock at the actual price that it's going to price it at. You know, it's just that simple. It's not about manipulation. It's not about controlling. It's not about any of that. The actual supply and demand the market of buying and selling the stock at some point will start to come back to reality. And like I said, fundamentally, the stock is still way overvalued at this point. We're back at the highest levels of 2017, 2018. And well, the stock price obviously is not reflecting the actual reality here of AMC and the future for AMC. I think this is going to end very, very badly at some point. Very, very badly. And like I said, there is a chance that we do get a little bit of a balance off this you know, $32 area kind of in here, get a little bit of bounce there. Maybe it kind of bounces back up, but I just don't see the play here anymore. I don't see the play. The momentum is gone. The pullback, this is not just like, oh, it's a pullback and 
It's time to buy the dip for the next big rip. It's a really asking yourself, you know, looking at the volume, looking at the action here, at what point is this play over? And at what point do people keep holding and holding and holding and holding and praying and hoping and holding? So that's really what it comes down to. AMC, it's over. It's done. It's going to the grave, my friends. Everyone on the internet telling you that it's not over is, well, they're living and hoping and praying, and that's just not the way to trade. So there it is. Bring on the hate. Bring on the comments. Instead of just commenting below about how I'm being paid by Citadel and all these companies and all this, let me know like actual reasons to why you believe in this trade. and like Give me some actual facts to why you believe that AMC will go higher from here or even ever break above you know that $70 area. So there it is. If you guys haven't already, do me one big favor. Hit that like button, subscribe button, all the buttons down below. We're trying to keep it real. We're trying to keep it real, real right here on the YouTube of realness. Talk to you guys later on.